copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what we're gonna see is manchester united's uh, shop star so they're I, I believe they're at the stadium and the staff what work for Manchester United, what represent Manchester United Football Club, have turned around and said, learn CPR is offensive. So learning a life-saving skills is offensive. You heard that right. We'll get straight into it and break it down. I'm just sat here in the mega store, I've just bought a shirt. Um, for Christine Eriksson. Learn CPR and have been told it's offensive to have any such message on the back. I'm waiting for the manager to come and explain why. Right. The manager right? just here now. He's right? just going to explain to me why I learned CPR is yeah. offensive. Sorry. Like I said, Marco, it's deemed offensive, so we won't be able to do it for you. Can, can I just ask you why? I just found my way, it's offensive. Um, what it is, what it is, yeah. Christine Erickson's got an ICD. Yeah. And because of the fast actions yeah. of the internet, uh, sorry, I, I know, Denmark, I know story, yeah. Yeah. my wife's got an ICD yeah. and I gave a CPR. Yeah. And we, we got the Brentford yeah. shirt for Ericsson. Yeah, yeah. And we had to learn CPR on mm. the back. And loads and loads of people, yeah. the Green United fans, mm. what's that about? Mm. It's about education. Yeah. They're doing it at Luton at the moment. I've right. just bought one off them, learn right. CPR yeah. for Tom. And you're telling me that's offensive. As far as I'm aware, it's offensive. So, like what, I said, how, bit, how are you I aware that's offensive? I, 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 so, this is. Somebody represents Manchester United, not directly, but he runs their their store. So he's a representation, a representer of Manchester, Manchester United Football Club. Remember that, a manual, whatever it is. I don't do football. Football's not my game. But he is that dumb that he believes learn CPR is offensive. Now, somebody please in the comments down below tell me why that would be offensive trying to educate people to learn a life-saving skill, how that can be offensive. But you've heard it from the horse's mouth, apparently it's offensive. I've been talking to my colleagues there, so they're saying it's offensive, so I won't be able to do it for you today. Can, can I just ask why, though? I don't, I, don't, I don't know, to be fair, I don't know, but men's CPR is offensive, it will upset people, so I'm sorry we won't do it. Can I ask how it would be I don't know, but like I say, we won't be able to do it for you today. Is that Manchester United's stance on? It's, it's our stance here now, we're saying to you, we can't Manchester do this United. Moment. Who's made that decision, please? We've made that decision to you today, you so, have, yeah. yeah. Can you refund me money and for the shirt, please? Of course, Thank sorry you. about that, yeah. You're, you're, not sorry, you're not sorry about that. I am sorry, Because you're, not, you're not making the decisions there, but absolutely ridiculous. I said I apologise. Yeah, yeah. It's offensive. The team are saying defensive. Don't all these people here. Okay, then, so what he's saying is, is sorry, but people are saying it's offensive. Okay, so a lot of people think the LGBTQRSTVWXY flag or whatever the fuck it is called nowadays is offensive. But you probably put it on all your stuff anyways, don't you? Probably. What about these uh, trans queer, not the trans, these uh, fucking people who want to be identified as a fucking dog and shit? I think that's weird and uh, offensive. But you'll probably help promote that. So what's wrong with promoting learn CPR, an educational thing, something that could save somebody's life? Absolutely disgusting. It's offensive to have the message learn CPR, a life-saving procedure. What are you doing? Just video, it? Going on YouTube, mate. You got your new shirt? Luton Town, Luton Town. Look, as far as I'm, look, I'm not having a go at you. I'm not, I'm as far as you're aware, as far as I'm aware but you've I'm made the decision in. Look, we're not into an argument. If we can't, we've got to do it. We're not arguing, are we? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. leave from the money. Yeah. Is that the shirt, mate? Yeah. Did you pay for your printing as well? So, Luton Town, obviously, they're uh, sending things to the British Art Foundation with that message on it. But Manchester United, these individuals here. Have made a joint decision that it is offensive to have learned CPR on the back of a Manchester United shirt. Have you got any information on it? Hey? Have you got any information? I can. At this point, this uh, manager should have just issued him a refund. You can see he's got the receipt in his hand, he's got the share, he's got everything which is there. All he has to do is issue the refund, put it back on his card. That would have been the end of it. But yeah, now he's asking for information on something I don't know what he's on about. 
he said he would issue him a refund. He should just be issuing the refund. It is a quick, simple process to issue a refund. And that would be it. But now he's going to ask for other stuff and information on this and information on that when it's irrelevant. The guy's asking for a refund on a product which for a product and a service you have not given him. Well, you're giving the product, but you aren't giving him the service as well, which he has paid for. So he's entitled to a refund. I can. Just walk away. Please. If you want me to talk to you, I'll talk to you. Yeah, talk to you. But to, put the phone down. No, it's alright. No, it's alright. I don't have to put the phone down. Right, okay. I can film this stuff. Right. I can. Right. No, I can. Yeah. You can't. You I can do it. Yeah. No, I can do it. I, I will leave the shop. I just want my refund. That's it. We're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's fine. Right. Come on. No, don't touch me. Right. Don't touch me. Don't lay hands on me. Do not lay hands on me. Idiots. Don't. Sorry. What did you say? No, I want my refund. I am having a refund. I want a refund. I want a refund. I want a refund. No, I want a refund. Do not touch me. Okay, then. So let's go to the Customers Rights Act of 2015. Uh, what's that? Section 45. Rights to a refund. Right, my eyes going to blurry again. I'm getting a migraine again. So I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to let this read it for me. 1. The right to a refund gives the consumer the right to receive a refund from the trader of all money paid by the consumer for the digital content, subject to subsection 2. 2. If the breach giving the consumer the right to a refund affects only some of the digital content supplied under the contract, the right to a refund does not extend to any part of the price attributable to digital content that is not affected by the breach. 3. A refund must be given without undue delay and in any event within 14 days beginning with the day on which the trader agrees that the consumer is entitled to a refund. 4. The trader must give the refund using the same means of payment as the consumer used to pay for the digital content, unless the consumer expressly agrees otherwise. 5. The trader must not impose any fee on the consumer in respect of the refund. So yeah, these are the refund laws. So... What I'm seeing here is they are un, under delay, so they are without un, undue delay, I should say. Fuck me, my eyes are killing. Yeah, without undue delay, they are stopping him from getting a refund on a something he's not happy with. He had paid for printing, and they have not printed. So it's a service which they have not fulfilled, and now he wants a refund, which by law is entitled to. Do not touch me, please, my space. I want to refund. Don't speak to me like that. Don't speak to me like that. I want a refund. I want a refund. I want a refund. All right, so bring the police. Ringing the police. Oh, yeah, you are. You're not, you're not going to touch me. Right. We don't need to touch you, do we? <laughs> no, I just want a refund. Shop, you you it is something. Something. I'm not being daft. You are being daft. I want a refund. You're not entitled to one. Please. So I he said he's not getting a refund, and you are not entitled to a refund. You heard that from these two dipsy cunts, which work as security, clearly don't understand the law. The law clearly states that you're entitled to a refund. It is an actual, well, it's an act. So it's a customer's right act of 2015, which means you, you are entitled to that refund. I want my refund. I bought something, he won't give it. And he needs to refund me money. What? He will not do it. Yeah, yeah. Hey? Can you just put that down? Just no. Explain to me what's happening. No, I'll explain to you now. Right. I bought a shirt. I want the printing. Yeah. Learn CPR yeah. on the back of it. Um, which is, my wife's got uh, the same as Christian Eriksen. It's been no problem with any other football club, including yeah. Brentford, Inter Milan, and Luton. And now, he's just laid hands on me. I haven't touched you at all. Oh, well, I've got it on video. It's all on video, so it's no worries. Well, you can keep your so, video show you what? Yeah, where he's just touched you. Yeah, where have I touched you? I'll, I'll show you on here. Right. I'm not turning off to show you. Yeah, yeah. I just want me a refund. But you're not having a refund. Why, why, who are you? The supervisor yeah. just said you can't have a refund. Why not? I don't know. Yeah, I do have, well, I thought some... down to me, is well, it? Can I speak to the supervisor? Then, I just spoke to him. No. Who said I can't have a refund? He's just, you just spoke to him. He's and he said you can't have a refund. Why? Well, that's against statutory rights. I just want to return my shirt. No, he's not doing the job that I've paid him for. Of course can have a refund, don't be silly. Don't be silly. What? I want a refund for the shirt and I want a refund for the printing. He's not done the printing. There you go. 
it's his statuary rights that he's entitled to a refund. We've already covered that. But the fact that they're trying to charge him for a service they haven't provided, that is a big issue within itself. That is, that's theft. It's as simple as that. It's theft. But I think uh, Manchester, Man, Manchester United should uh, look at this and be absolutely disgraced in their full team or working in this shop. Maybe they should be educating them or firing them. It's as simple as that. This type of behaviour is unacceptable. All he wants is an educational message put on the back of a shirt. If you don't allow that, maybe there should be some sort of rules that you can only have uh, your name or a team, one of your players' names or something like that. It's absolute bollocks, man. When I was younger, I, I'm a rugby fan. So I, I had my LFC shirts and I used to get weird na- weird messages put on the back just for a joke. But and they never complained. They just did it. Learn CPR. You know what CPR is? Yeah, you see. Yeah? Compressions, isn't it, obviously? Yeah. Of course it so is. why are you putting that on there then, sir? Just explain to me why. Because Christian Eriksen has got an, an implantable uh, cardiac device okay. that resuscitates him. My wife had exactly the same thing. So we're trying to promote, as is Luton Towns player, trying to promote the learning of CPR. It's on the television every single day, advertisements. Yeah, we understand that, no, 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 no. Well, You've asked me to speak. You've had to right, be to speak. Let me finish. So every single day, there's, there's adverts on the telly asking people to learn CPR. Clubs are promoting it. They're sending stuff to the British Heart Foundation at the moment to promote learning CPR. So I wear, simply wear a shirt, other shirts, with learn CPR. These aren't willing to print it because it's offensive. It's not hey? offensive, but by license, they're not allowed to do it. They are allowed to. Well, other, other clubs have done it, so it's their decision. He said it's his decision. That's fine. I just want a refund of me £100 now. That's all. And I'll go. £80. Hey? What this manager's saying is he doesn't understand the law and he's saying if you put your phone away, he will refund you. No, because that's against the law, isn't it? The law states you shouldn't have any undue or without undue delay because he's recording, that's causing undue delay because you don't want to be recorded. He's asking for a refund and you're refusing to, which is undue delay. That's exactly what you're doing, so you are breaking the law, unfortunately. Don't say a word while you're doing it. Don't say a word while you're doing it. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we're doing, we're doing our job, so you're recording yeah. again, yeah? Yeah, because yeah? Yeah, you're yeah. speaking to me right. for my Chris safety. Don't, don't it's that. for my you're safety. No, I'm, while I'm talking recording to him. Again. No, it doesn't matter. While yeah. I'm talking to you. Well, you stand back for me, give me my space. I'll stand here and I'll stop recording. You're Simpleton? Is that what you called me? Who? You call me a simpleton? I'm, I'm not called. No, that. no, no, no. Of course you've not. Bye, bye, sir. Have yeah, a lovely day. You need your SIA badges on show. SIA badges, not on show. So this interaction for me is it's just fucking ridiculous. You paid for a share. You should be able to. It's your property then. So. You should be able to have whatever you want put on it. And then you've got some idiots like these saying, oh, learn CPR is offensive. Learn CPR is offensive. If Manchester United, as these people are a representation of Manchester United, they represent Manchester United, they work in that shop, they are representing them. It's that simple. If they believe learn CPR is offensive, then what the fuck is this planet coming to when trying to, to get people to learn a life-saving Skill is offensive. I keep saying life-saving skill because that's exactly what CPR is. It's a life-saving skill. But yeah, it's offensive. So please don't learn it. Please just allow people to die if you see them in front of you. It might need CPR because you are not allowed to learn it because it could be offensive. Okay, in hell. And then the security, like you mentioned at the end, no SAI badge. I do believe they're not an in-house security and they are employed out also the if you're in an in-house security you don't ask to have a badge but if you're not and you're just like a, a contracted security you have to have an SAI badge that's what i believe it to be but let us know in the comments down below you thought of this interaction as always like the video it does open youtube's algorithm and i'll catch you on the next one